Hello everybody, my name is Delzar Slit, and today we're doing a reaction video. Um, by the way, you don't have to go by the full name, my name is also just Del. Anyway, we're going to be doing a reaction video to Flow State, a lovely, very well-spoken creator, who happens to use the Minecraft format as a backdrop for a lot of things that he wants to talk about, and I actually enjoy them. So, let's get into it. So I just moved a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. so wondering where I've been, and already... I have learned some things about myself, and I've picked out three things where I can pretty confidently say... Oh yeah, by the way, the title of this video is, It's Time to Fix Your Life. Man, I am lazy. And so today, I'm going to talk about fixing that. The first thing is that I've always been a pretty skinny guy. I'm on the taller side, and it's always been pretty hard for me to put on weight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I've been lifting weights you know, since the start of college, pretty much. And... I'm not that different now, weight-wise, than when I was back in freshman year of college. And yeah. I put on a lot of weight during that time, probably like 20 to 30 pounds over the course of eight months. But since that peak, I haven't really gone anywhere. And that was several years ago now. So now I should be way further down the road, right? Theoretically speaking. But I'm not. Yeah. Lazy. And it's because I'm lazy. I've never tracked my calories. I don't really record the weight and reps that I'm doing so that the next workout I'm doing more weight and you know when COVID happened I really started slacking off going from six days a week in college to maybe three or four times a week and so what does this have to do with me moving mm -hmm. well, now I'm on my own I mean I'll be living with my girlfriend technically but nobody's really pushing me to work out hard or to eat four or five meals a day or make sure that I'm buying high quality high protein foods none of that it's all up to me and obviously, I'm aware of this. I'm speaking yeah. out loud on air. But at the same time, I know that Saturday is going to come around and legs will be up. And I'm like, nah, eh, I don't really want to. It's it's so bizarre. Oh, I feel that one, definitely. <laughs> That's configuration and just overall everything in the world. You will sit there and fucking slate. Only knowing that you're going to have something come up and hit you later. Shit, while I'm making this video right now, there's other things I should be doing. But this is me running away from my problem. Now, this is probably not what he's talking about, but maybe it is. Because I know everyone feels this in any anything, really. Not just exercise. But despite knowing that we have defined a goal and want to achieve it, it's so hard to keep procrastination at bay. Now, recognizing a problem is one thing, but you have to have some semblance of a plan or things you're going to do to fix it, right? And By the way, whoever built this fucking home is beautiful. For me, with the exercise and gaining weight, it's as simple as I just need to eat and I need to stop skipping days. So for me, that looks like saying, I'm going to go to the gym today. I'm going to go in the morning, I'm going to eat breakfast, and then I go. That's my routine, and I'm not deviating from that. And that's basically how I've always done it. That's always worked pretty well for me. Mm -hmm, but, mm -hmm. You know, there's days like the weekend and, you know, you just kind of feel like laying around and now nah, I'll skip legs. I'll just do a hike or something. No, get up and go to the gym. The second half of that is also nutrition. Yep. And all that means for me is eating a lot of food and a lot of good food. And not that I was eating particularly bad at all before, but that just means eating clean, you know. You know, my dinner tonight was uh, bison and beans, and I put some bison? jalapenos and onions in there, yeah. some good seasoning, like, good stuff. And I've been watching lots of YouTube videos from people like Joe Delaney and Jeff Nippard, these really big fitness influencers, for tips on all this. Because, I mean, they're basically an endless supply of content for this kind of thing, if you're interested. And so it's small, True. but these are actionable steps that I'm taking to make me lifting an even more serious part of my life. And it's always been a part of my life, at least since college, but now it's really time to get serious and reach the point. I forgot he was a college that student. That being, you know, not being a stick. So that's one thing I'm actively trying to fix. I, I promise after... Is being a stick that bad? Like, stick life is easy. Like, stick life is neat. During this video, I will go hit legs. But I said there were three things. The second thing is music. I have been making music oh. for almost seven years now. And, and, you Wait, know, he does? Which sounds like, dude, you should be an awesome producer, right? That's a long time. But I would honestly say that probably since 2020, I haven't really gotten that much better. I mean, I'm not trying to humble brag or anything because I am proud of some of the tracks that I make. But I have definitely not put in the effort required to improve my 
production skills. And you've got to be constantly learning, actively listening to music and deconstructing it and learning how other artists work, learning how to huh. make sounds that no one has ever heard before. So many different ways to improve. And I have done basically none of that. I've got, I mean, I've got dozens and dozens. Also, that being the fucking man cave is a hilarious thing right there. But, yeah, you haven't put in as much work as you should. Of unfinished ideas and loops built from basically nothing but stock sounds. And as a result, it all kind of sounds bleh. It's not really unique, you know? And I want to reiterate that humility is one of the most important things to me. But at the same time, I know that I have the drive and the passion and the ability to learn such that I could be someone who has songs with millions of plays and people listening to my stuff. I guess part of that really comes from this channel because when I started this channel, I had no real sense within me that I could do something if I really wanted it badly enough. You know, it's been incredibly validating to do this and that you can have an idea, just put it out there, and if it's good enough and people like what you're saying, they will watch. And as the channel is coming up on 100,000 subscribers, I'm like, yeah, why not? I mean, to be fair, I am quite literally watching your videos live to make reaction content off of them, knowing that, really, I would watch these videos, and I do watch them off stream anyway, and then sometimes I just have to remember, I want to make videos that are reactionary to these, because they are fucking phenomenal. The choice of music, the very calm atmosphere of the Monkai video itself, the way that you speak is well pronounced, it is well spoken, and it's indicative of the type of life that you live you are basically putting down not a video essay but you're pretty much just yeah maybe you can consider some of these video essays but a lot of these are just raw from you and i love it and as i love it i want to incorporate it into my channel and the best way i can do that with most content i see through youtube is just make reactionary content on why can't I be a music producer or an artist that gets millions of plays? These other guys like Odessa, one of my favorite all-time artists, they used to be college students, you know, young guys in their 20s, just starting out, no idea what they're doing. But they've been doing it for 10 years now. And, you know, if they could do it back then, I could do it. And obviously, keep your expectations in check. <laughs> I mean, these are Grammy nominee artists. Yeah. Obviously, it's hard to relate to that. But if you really want something badly enough and you want to fix your life, you know, to tie it back to the title of the video, you have to actively improve your situation. And so like lifting, I'm thinking about actionable steps to take to improve my music. And it's really the exact same approach where I spend a ton of time on YouTube learning from people who know a whole lot more than me. To True. To deconstruct songs and really listen to how they made that snare sound so punchy or why is that bass line so groovy, right? When I was in college, I took several art classes, and you know, art is such an abstract thing for most people. It's, it's so hard to do right. Either you die Fair. or you don't, right? But several of my professors gave us the same piece of advice, and it was something like, when you're learning, don't draw what you think you see. Draw what you actually see. This is not rocket science, where the answer is some cryptic code that only the few talented people in the world know about. Everyone was a true at one point, and all you have to do is just pay attention to what you see in front of you and try to replicate it or try to understand why that works. Because it's not really any different from music. The music is right there in front of you as you listen to it. So listen to why it sounds good and try to apply those principles to your own projects. You know, one of my best friends is just as passionate about making music as me. And we've been talking basically every day, exchanging vocal chops and files and like, hey man, check out this idea. Let's bounce it off each other. Because I think we both know that we do not want to waste our potential. This can happen if you want it bad. I can definitely hear where he's putting in the actual musical cues because as he's building to the literal, like, I don't want to say punchline of the speech, but pretty much to the punchline of the speech, you hear the... I mean, I'm not fucking articulated enough to actually pronounce and or denounce what the fuck it is, but I understand it's good. And the last thing, the third one that I'm trying to improve, is this channel. You know, obviously moving is a busy time, but it's not a crutch. It's not an excuse. I've just been lazy. I mean, the last time I uploaded was the 19th, I think. So it's been a minute, but what made me pick the channel True. as the last thing is that it is 
pretty much what allows me to live. And I've got a day job, but it doesn't pay that much. And it's not like I'm rolling in dough with YouTube but on top, but it helps a ton. And you guys that watch my videos consistently are a true blessing. But obviously, yes. when you don't upload for 10 days, your views go down. And if your views go down, then your revenue goes down. And I was just logging into my apartment portal, you know, where you pay your rent because I have to pay rent soon. And I looked at the balance that was due and I was like, shit, <laughs> that's a lot of money. And, and it's not the end of the world. Like I said, I've got my girlfriend with me and I've got multiple sources of income at this point. So I'm not going to be homeless, but thank uh, God. Wow. I got to fix this situation, man. You know, before I moved, it used to be like, eh, if I don't upload, yeah, it sucks and I'm getting less views, but it's not like it's a big deal. But now, if I don't upload, I have to drain my savings to be able to live. There's actual consequences to not following through on my ambitions. And so in that regard, I absolutely have to turn it around. You know, stop being so lazy. Stop making excuses. You know, if you put in mediocre effort, you're going to get mediocre results. And that's fine, honestly. I mean, it's not right or wrong to be ambitious or not be ambitious or to do one thing or not the other. But I fair. Know within myself that I have to make something happen. It's time to fix your life. All right, guys. I'll catch you later. He said the thing. He said the title. Flow State Video. Yay. <laughs>So funny enough, this is on the playlist for today, and this video will probably come out after this video is up. Um, anyways, please get your ass down in the description. Find this the link that leads to this video. Watch it like five to ten times. It's not that long. It's only eight minutes. You can put that shit on loop. It's a fucking great content creator who makes good things. Okay, I want to support them. As much as they have helped supported me emotionally through their own creations. So please take your ass out there and support Flow State. As for myself, I would say comment, like, tell me what the fuck you think, okay? I'm honestly just here to know what the fuck you think. As for my own subscription shit, it's actually really simple, okay? Subscribe to me under a few conditions. Number one, you think I'm worthy of your subscription, okay? Don't subscribe out of pity. And number two, subscribe if you want to come back around and support. And what the fuck does Pinto Beans have to do with this vanilla? <laughs> the hell? <laughs> I, I guess this is how we're going to end the video. Yes, that, that with Pinto Beans. You know what? Fuck it. In the comment section, whenever this video comes out, Say Pinto Beans, and I'll, and I'll reply back with, oh god, Vanilla has come, Vanilla has started a cult. Um, anyways, please, everybody, have a lovely, phenomenal, terrific.